Hey, everybody. Happy Friday in another edition to the Frangela Show. Frank and Angela, uh, we're getting a little bit of a late start today. Apologize for that. With the, some real estate shenanigans that often happens in our world, but everything's on track, so it's all good. So, <laughs> hi, babe. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a chance to get myself together so this morning. I came in and went straight to emails. So that's always fun. Yeah. So, and as usual, we don't have any idea what we're talking about. So, uh, we'll just kind of make it up as we go. As you know, this is a show of uh, sometimes important charge talk topics, and other times yeah. it's just random nothingness. So, it's going to be one of those days. Yeah, it's going to be a random Happy March 23rd. Day. Oh, yeah. There you go. There's something to talk about. It's March 23rd. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So one day I will actually learn. See, I did it again. One day I'll actually learn how to use my phone, but I'm like dying for a new phone because one of my friends has like an iPhone 10 and it has a bad ass camera. Like the camera on it, the pictures are so freaking amazing. But the only thing is that I hate getting new phones because I have to learn the phone over again. Like, I hate new things. I don't like any new things. I just like everything that I'm familiar with. Like, I, I don't know what's going to happen when the computers change and now we don't have disk drives or, I mean, thumb drives. See, I'm still saying this. Wow. <laughs> we don't have thumb drives. Like, I hate change. I'm not a good with change. So I want a new phone, but I don't want to learn a new phone. Boom. There's your topic of the day. iPhone 10 thousand bucks is oh, it God. worth the upgrade from an iphone 7. i yeah so only <laughs> for me camera. all i want is a camera and you take selfies most of the time anyway so I it doesn't i don't think it matters all that much but chime in if you have an iphone 10 or an 8 i know the 8 is pretty badass with the pictures on it but that's oh, still like 800 bucks or something and we're not eligible i just call and check on that oh <laughs> you already tried we're not, we're not eligible for, we're not uh, eligible for an upgrade, upgrade. So it's a full 800 bucks um, when we got two your old phones already. But the other thing, the other reason we almost need to upgrade is because yeah. you have a new awesome truck that charges our phone just by sitting our phone on the center console. So in Frank's Escalade, when you put the phone on top of the center console, it just charges your phone. You don't have to plug anything in, anything. You just sit it there. But it doesn't work with my phone. So new truck equals I may need a new phone. There you go. Because I never have battery power. I'm always freaking out. Like, oh, my gosh. It's because I need to use my navigation for every single thing. Like, I can't even get home without my navigation. So it uses all the battery. It drains the battery super fast. So I need to be able to just, like, charge the phone whenever. And I always, like, forget to bring my charger in the car. Or something always happens. So the fact that your car just lets us charge the phone by just sitting there, that means... Or an alternative is <laughs> shut down all your background apps because you've probably okay. got like 26 of them running. Yeah. And probably. for like 30, 40 bucks, you can always get another charger, which is a little cheaper than 800 to 1,000 bucks Fine. times two because we got to have the same phone. Fine. Yes, we do have to have the same phone. We do. I don't know why, but you, that's Because you. I'm always driving. If we don't have the same phone, then <laughs> Angela's impossible on trying to figure out the phone. So... As much as she hates it, we have a choice. You drive or you work I hate the driving. phones. But you know, like to work and I don't mind driving long distance. Like I can drive like if you say, Hey, we're taking a cross country trip to Virginia, I'm all about that. I can totally drive. But just like short trips, like go to LA, go to even go to Vegas, like I don't want to drive. I read that I can do a long trip all day long, but short trips, I can't. I don't know why. I read that you drive. And I don't want to return 47 text messages while I'm trying to drive. So it actually works out pretty good that yes. Angela is texting and emailing. So if I'm driving and you are uh, getting a text message or email mm -hmm. from me, that's probably typically Angela. She's with me. Yeah. Hi, uh, everybody. Hi, Ryan. Ryan's hey, hanging out with us this what's morning. Up, buddy? And he says 100%. Absolutely. The iPhone 10 is worth it. Yeah. What'd you get, Ryan? Did you get the 10 or the 8? Chime in on that. Sabrina, Sabrina definitely uh, another one of my well. partners that needs to have an iPhone because we do a lot of stuff and she's always back and forth. Plus, Sabrina's my awesome uh, marketing assistant. And she's your right she hand do. woman. Yes, she is. Um, Veronica says she loves the hat and the t shirt. Oh, 
real estate. Yeah. So, okay. So I have to tell you a story about this hat real quick. So Frank has one and then he got me one. And so I just like wearing, cause I don't know if you guys noticed, but I wear like baseball caps all the time and I have favorites. This was my new favorite because I love the way it fit on my head. Plus people ask you questions and then I just refer them Frank. <laughs> They're like, Oh, so you guys are in real estate? I'm like, yep. <laughs> um, but the weirdest thing happened the other day and if they're on our I'm sure they're on our Facebook but it's okay because it's all in love but this was a little bit annoying to me so I was wearing this hat and someone asked me about like literally not oh hi you're in real estate what's your name they're like oh you're in real estate how many deals do you do do you think that's weird I think that's so weird no that's how we talk in real estate unfortunately <laughs> you know it's not like Is hey it? what's your name how's your kids and that sort of thing it's like what do you do? So and, that's you know, normal? It is normal in okay. our, our industry. I, mean, I, just, one, I, I was just I, taking it back. I was like, I'm a what? <laughs> so I, I think part of it is one, we're just, you know, salespeople. I mean, really what we are, we're not yeah. advisors. A lot of people say, I'm real estate advisors. Like, no, you're a salesperson. Yeah, and but if you're, you're not, not get out of it. But I know, but as salespeople, people, we are competitive yeah. by nature. The ones that are, are good and not just the advisors or consultants or whatever you're there to sell somebody's house the biggest largest investment yeah put as much money as you pocket as you can in their pocket so you better be damn good at sales and marketing and uh, venture yes. transaction and everything well, but, just, so that's a, a lot of times the only way we need to know how to talk the challenge that i have with that as an industry mm -hmm. is that everybody has different goals yeah. so some people may have a goal to do 100 units mm -hmm. uh, sell 100 houses help 100 families and that's what they need either for their ego or financial status. And some people want to do 10 or 20 or whatever their goal is. Yeah. And that's okay for them. And it reaches their goals because maybe they have something different going on. Maybe they don't want to be killing it, you know, 16 hours a day, seven days a week, like yeah. um, some of us do. I guess. So that's well, okay. Cool so it's hard to be able to say, hey, what's, you know. Yeah. Well, the cool thing about them is that we did get into a different conversation. So I guess it worked. It led to a conversation about other things. And then I found out that they're really cool people with really cool kids. That's what I got out of it, which is the part that I look for. I always look for the other part. Like I'm not so much in, like, I love to know what people do for a living. And if people are in the Marine Corps, I can talk about it all day if they were in the Marine Corps because I was a Marine. If people were are in real estate, I can talk to them all day because I love real estate. But it's just weird that some for some people that's like the lead in, and I'm like, I mean, if you're if you're out and you're in the head, of course you expect people to talk about it because that's the reason that you wear it to so start a conversation about real estate. But still, when there's strangers around, they still lead into it with like, oh, you do real estate, so it's different. So maybe I'm used to that side of the conversation, not from real estate agent. I'm used to to people being interested in real estate. They don't ever ask you how many houses do you sell. They just start talking to you about the market and interest rates and things like that. So that's the angle that wearing this hat, I usually get people come into. So for for a real estate agent to come in differently, like, oh, hi, you're in the real estate life. How many houses do you sell a month was just strange to me. But it's okay because he's a Marine and I already loved him just from that. Oh. <laughs>